Hi there, welcome to second Angular CLI tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you NGNU command and various variety along with the NGNU. NGNU command allows you to create a new Angular application. So let's get started. I have a terminal open in my IDE. Let's say NGNU. Name of the application, let's say Apple app and I'm not passing any other parameters let's just hit enter and yeah it has created couple of files and it's saying installing packages for tooling via npm so let's just open this directory I have e2e, src, couple of json files like angular cli json, editor config and so on then I have a src folder consists all other files then app folder, assets, environments, and so on. So this is a normal use of NGNU. Now, as it says, installing packages, so it will download all the uh, node modules that specified in this package.json. If you see here, so currently it has taken Angular version 2.4.0. So till this download gets over. Let's just open another terminal and we'll try some varieties with the NGNU. So as you see, according to syntax, there is an app name that we already did. And second <coughs> parameter is like options. So options like dry run, skip install, skip git, directory, source directory, style, prefix. So let's just uh, hit new commands so ngnu mango app and I'm passing skip install so I can write either a skip install or I can have short form like si so ngnu mango app si let's see what's happening and it has created a mango app directory and my cursor is back to the terminal so there are no node modules are being downloaded in this case because we have skipped the installation of the packages so we have the same architecture file structure of the application but there will be no node modules so we have to manually hit npm install whenever we execute this application so that is what skip install now let's try another one uh, let's say ngnu which option do we prefer now uh, we can have directory and source directory uh, let's say banana app I'm passing si so it won't take necessary time to download all the packages the next is skip git so we can have initialization of git repository let's do that too because if you observe in this package there is a git ignore and I guess yeah so let's just skip git installation then I have a directory as a option so what it says so directory it's a custom directory to your application so uh, let me just do this okay so when I say directory or let's say simply dir and I'll give the name of the directory as banana we'll see the difference what will happen and the next is source directory so let's give sd equal to banana source and let's let's apply with the style too so in style we can have a you know default extension so by default it gives a CSS so let's say if you want to use less or SCSS I'll just say less so now it will create instead of CSS it will create this less files uh, now let's just hit enter and it has created the banana app let's just open this banana app now if you see 
there is a banana as a folder instead of banana app so how did that happen well we have given the directory name here so whenever you give a directory now it creates the same directory which you provide but if you don't provide any directory name it will take directory as your project name so if you see the other projects that is Ma mango app and apple app so in mango app let's say apple app so we have a package registration name is apple app so that is your project name and the same name is directory name right now in case of banana if you open package registration so there is a package registration right and the name is banana app and now a directory is banana now another difference if we see in apple app we have a src that is source directory while in banana app we have a banana src so default folder for source directory is src but we have just customized it so we have given source directory as banana src another thing if you observe let me just expand src and there is a style.css that's a default style file now in our banana app let's just open banana src and see we have a less file so we override the you know default configuration now we have a less file so that's what the difference between this couple of options what are the other options let's check it out okay one is routing then inline style inline template so let's try with the routing uh, let's check do we have routing in any of this project uh, there is an app folder okay no routing module is there in banana let's check it out in apple app so okay there is no routing module in apple too let's open mango app so not even in mango right so let's just open uh, let's just create another project say engine let's say guava app and I'm just saying skip installation and then let's say routing and anything if you skip inline style uh, this is generally used when you want to have uh, your uh, you know component to be have you know like an inline style within it then you can say is or inline style same with the template since we are not creating any other components so we need not to go through that is or it in case of prefix same uh, when i say prefix le uh, let's write prefix and i'm just saying uh, prefix value as fruit so whenever i'll create a new component or any of the component is getting created there will be prefix as a fruit so let's just hit enter and we'll check it out so wow app is open created let's open it and now uh, how many options did we apply we have applied one is routing so there must be routing somewhere right so yeah here it is so we have a routing file generated you see this red line because there is no node modules I angular libraries are not found I think to worry about it and another option is prefix as a fruit so there is a default component called app component so let's just open app component at ts and if you see there is a selector name as a fruit dash root and if i show you another app any of the app like banana or apple app let's go with the banana and i open app component at ts of you know banana app and if you see here we have app dash root and here we have fruit dot root so it's just nothing we have set the prefix by default it takes a so I believe everyone understood ng new and now let's open our first terminal uh, what where is it okay here it is Apple app it says install packages for project Apple app let's check it out so let's up expand Apple app and see we have node modules so now if I open any of the app component or TS or any of the files see there is no red line because now angular library is present in this node modules so that's how it, it works so a quick review of engineer you can have engineer with different flavors along with the name of your app 
options like dry run, skip installation, skip git initialization, directory, source directory, style, prefix, routing, and LAN style, and LAN template. So I guess that's it for the engineer. Thank you all really for watching this video and uh, we'll be uh, you know learning something about uh, angular cli.json in the next video so what this file is and what is the importance of this files so stay tuned with me i'll see you in the next module and yeah 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 don't forget to subscribe thank you